We are back with another video in the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 countdown, and checking in at number 91 is the St. Bonaventure Bonnies. What's up, college basketball fans? I'm Hoop Scoop Media co founder Austin Getchy, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 College Basketball Teams Countdown. In this series, we'll be counting down our top 100 teams for next season and releasing a video every day until the college basketball season begins. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give our social medias a follow. Simple things like that help more college basketball fans like you enjoy our content. With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video and 99 other videos in this series. It was a bit of a down year for Mark Schmidt and St. Bonaventure last year, finishing 14-18 overall and 8-10 and in league play. However, when looking at a team they've assembled this year, it's hard to imagine a scenario where they're not significantly better. Last year, St. Bonaventure lost their whole starting five and had to play with mostly a new group. However, this year the Bonnies lost very little, while still bringing in a lot. Even though the Bonnies lost five players to the portal this offseason, none of them averaged more than 2.5 points per game, and they brought back 85% of their minutes played. A main reason why the Bonnies will make a huge jump is because of the pieces they added. One notable addition was Cincinnati transfer point guard Micah Adams Woods. Adams Woods was a four year starter for the Bearcats and had the best year of his career efficiency wise this past season. He's a steady point guard who can do a little bit of everything offensively, so he will likely rack up assists with the scores he has around him. Adams Woods is a Syracuse native, as is another incoming transfer guard in Charles Pride, who spent his past four seasons at Bryant. Pride is an offensive weapon, a very skilled scorer who has also shown the ability to facilitate the ball at times. This season at Bryant, he contributed 3.0 offensive win shares, second in the conference, and a whole offensive win share more than anyone else on his team. He's also shown the ability to have big games, scoring 44 points in one game in the 2021-22 season, in addition to other scoring outbursts. Pride is one of the best transfers into the conference, and his scoring offensive skill set brings something to the table that the just didn't have last year. The last transfer brought in was George Washington big man Noel Brown, who was a backup big for GW last season and figures to slide into that same role at St. Bonaventure. He's nothing out of the ordinary, but should fit his role very well and is a huge body in the paint. As I mentioned earlier, despite getting these big names from the portal, the Bonnies didn't really lose much last year. They bring back leading scorer Daryl Banks in the backcourt, who led the Bonnies in points per game last year and also led the NCAA in minutes per game. Banks was on the St. Peter's Elite 8 team and had 27 points in a win over Kentucky. He was a lone bunny on 8 10 all-conference teams last year, and he should be a more efficient player this year, not having to play the whole game. The Bonnies also returned their starting front court. Center Chad Vending was a breakout transfer last year, about doubling his production while moving from Morgan State. Vending is an extremely efficient inside option, and also one of the best shot blockers in the league. Jan Farrell also returns after being named to the A-10 All-Freshman team. Farrell is one of the best shooters in the conference as he shot 44% from three on two makes a game last year in conference play. He's a player who can make a sizable sophomore jump. Guards Kyra Luke and Moses Flowers are also returning to St. Bonaventure, just making the backcourt that much better. Luke was a starting point guard last year, but will likely take the backseat to Adams Woods this season. He wasn't the most efficient scorer last year, but is solid distributing the ball and was one of the better defenders on the team last year. Flowers has a game centered more around scoring, which he does fairly efficiently. Forward Barry Evans also returned for his sophomore year with the Bonnies. His freshman year had ups and downs, but he started over 20 games and could be another player we see make a jump. The other returning player for the Bonnies is retro freshman Malian Martinez, another big man that could work his way into the rotation. Mark Schmidt also added a few incoming freshmen to the team. Dwayne Thompson was a big pickup, a power forward with a good assortment of offers. Being a reclass, he could be a retro option. Guard Miles Rose, the other pickup, played at Putnam Science Academy with Thompson, which is somewhat of a Bonnie's pipeline. Overall, this Bonnie's team has a chance to get back to the level of the Bonnie's teams a few years ago. The job Mark Schmidt has done in recruiting this level of talent this offseason was outstanding, and it will pay off during the season. The Bonnies are a generally old team, with lots of these old players being very skilled as well. I have them sitting at second in A-10, and I expect them to be a strong contender to win the conference and potentially take the auto bid. 
St. Bonaventure fans who watched the video, let me know what your thoughts are on it and where you'd have them in your own personal rankings this upcoming season. We will be back tomorrow with the number 90 team in the country. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it.